Archives aim to acquire, preserve, and make accessible records of enduring value. Disasters can be a dramatic threat to these collections. In the wake of such disasters, it's important to know how to preserve and recover damaged records properly. When water enters your facility, records may become wet and need to be dried. When sorting material to be dried, sort by degree of wetness, such as wet, damp, or dry, as this impacts how the records should be dried. Time is of the essence when dealing with wet records as mold growth can occur within 48 hours of contact with water. If you do not have the time to dry the records within 48 hours, buy yourself some time and freeze the records. This gives you time to plan your salvage strategies, such as finding supplies, manpower, and space to dry the records. Note that certain records should not be frozen, such as vellum, AV material, floppy disks, glass plate negatives, color photographs, and collodion emulsion photographs, to name a few. For more information, consult our website or Betty Walsh's Salvage at a Glance. There are a few methods available to air dry records. For all methods, a fan is required. Place the fan in the room to promote air circulation. However, never place the fan directly at the drying material. You may also use a dehumidifier to help promote drying and remove humidity from the room. For this method, you'll need blotting paper, Holitex, plexiglass, and weights. First, place a piece of blotting paper on your table, then a piece of Holitex, and then your paper record. If your paper record is saturated, stop here. Also, if you're using this method to dry photographs, place the photographs emulsion side up and stop here. However, if your paper record is damp, continue on to the next step. Place your piece of Holitex on top of the record. And then a piece of blotting paper. And then the plexi. Weight your record and monitor the blotting paper. If it becomes cockled, change it out for new paper. For this method, you will need absorbent material, such as a towel or absorbent paper, and an enamel coated drying rack. Place your absorbent material on the table and place your drying rack on top of the absorbent material. This is a great method for glass plate negatives. Ensure that the emulsion side is facing out. For this method, you will need cotton string, a method to secure the line, such as tape, and plastic clothespins. Secure the cotton string in a well-ventilated area. Attach the clothespin to the edge of the record. Only use this method for durable records, such as photographic negatives and documents on linen. For this method, you will need ethafoam, skewers, and bulldog clips. First, attach the skewer to the ethafoam. Next, take your bulldog clip and attach it to the edge of the record. And insert the bulldog clip on the skewer. This method should only be used for photographic negatives. Good luck out there, archivists.